hello and welcome everyone so in the previous video we talked about uh, a token strategy that we are getting a token from the client and we are validating it so i have added few more entities in this uh, particular video uh, which is a category and uh, the tags like category will be having one to one relationship with the post and tags will have one to many tags will have a relationship like many to one with the post one post can have a many tags one post will have a single category okay category will have a single post consider it like this or otherwise it can be one to many also like post can belongs to typescript javascript es6 es5 that can be a tag or category can be okay development design devops all these things okay so for now it is a one to one relationship so what i am defining in category i am using one to one annotation similarly in the post i am using one to one annotation in the category you can see one to one uh, it is categories belonging to post and mapped with the category and i i need to have a post column in the category similarly in the in the post table i will be having category as a column and it will be one to one relationship uh, one to one map to category and the attribute which i will be mapping is post okay this is one to one and in the post and tags is same relationship as we have post and comments so if you can see here this is i am doing for the comment same thing i have to do for the tags single tag entity so it will be a tags array inside a post and in the tag entity i will be mapping the post for with many to one annotation so here it is many to one because many tags so many to one tag in the entity if i'm working on the tag entity then tag is going to have a relationship with the post which will be many to one so annotation will be many to one here in the post post will have a relationship of one to many with the tag so annotation will be one to many always remember with this what to write it is like left and right if it is one to many then one to many will be annotation when you are writing code in the right side then it will be many to one okay and there is another case where you have many to many okay these entities i have created now what i can do is i can access i can just create uh, start creating my uh, post controller post module post services which i just created so post service post module post controller post dto so here what we can do is simple is uh, this is my post dto i can write my post controller which will be same as let's see the auth controller not auth controller we can just copy something from user service and we'll just change some attributes okay so this is my post service i will be accessing a different thing here i will be accessing the post okay and repository will be of type post post repo okay and it the dto will be a post dto okay so point from post dto i will be accessing two things one is a title title and description i think so and now i can access post repo dot find one we don't need to find because we are creating a post right let me just remove this particular route all the other routes so what we are doing in this code is let's say the controller annotation control it's a service so here i will be just getting i got the title so i will assign the title directly i have a description description so here we have a text property and the title property on the post entity new post okay clear now post repo dot save here we have a new post now we are able to save it uh, why it is complaining new post say this dot post repo okay something we have not okay post it should be a post now everything is correct so here we have created a new post 
this is a service now there will be a controller which will be calling this so we can just copy the controller like this one first of all just remove all these things and we have a post service always a better example is write the right hand side post service and here we didn't change the name I think yes that is correct so post service we are exporting from here post service we will be injecting okay now we have a DTO of type of post DTO post DTO we are getting in the request object now we are just calling the post service dot uh, here you can see the create and we'll be passing the post DTO if we are able to create the, the new post we'll just return it or you can just simply say return and if you if there is any exception occur then I mean that will be taken care otherwise you can just wrap it around the try catch consider if any particular error occur then you can just throw new okay we have error exception filter that will take care so simple uh, controller we have created right here it will be a post instead of uh, controller will be auth yes controller will be a post and it will be http post simple forward slash okay and similarly we can just create uh, all the other routes like uh, get post by id then you just can access the params id of type string So all the other things can be taken care. Here I will be passing get post by ID. It is should be a get method, and we can just define this method, and this is how it is going to work. Okay. So I just wanted to show you how we do with the post controller, post services, and post module. Post in post module we have already injected the post entities. That's why we are able to access inject access or inject the post repository in our service here you can see I am injecting the post repository right and post repo with the help of post repo I am able to access all these methods this dot post repo dot find find one find by id or find one all these query builder all these utility methods I can access from type ORM okay in the next set of videos we will look more about it thanks everyone